What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the ULA keyboard. So let's go ahead and run down the specifications real quick. Uh, so this is a gaming keyboard. It has a stainless steel design, it's scratch resistant, and it has these floating keys. Uh, so that's the big selling point with this guy. So it has blue mechanical switches. Uh, so what that is, is that it'll raise the keys and it'll give you this really weird but awesome uh, typewriter feeling. Uh, so when you're playing games and stuff like that, it's going to give you a really nice satisfying uh, feeling. I personally just like this for just typing stuff like that. I thought it was really great uh, just for a typing experience, not even on a game. You're going to like this keyboard just, you know, doing regular stuff. So it also has anti-ghosting with 26 key rollovers and also it has a FN, a shortcut button. So you can go ahead and mess with that and launch applications. And it'll overall make your gaming uh, much better. Uh, so I really want to focus on the keys on this guy because this is the first keyboard I've had with such a weird design. Uh, so the keyboard when you get it, uh, you're going to notice it has no keypad. So that was the big thing with that. Uh, it has no keypad which is weird. Um, that's like my only thing. Uh, but it's an awesome keyboard. It feels really great. When you first get it, you're gonna it's gonna feel awkward and your hands are gonna kind of feel cramped a little bit because it is a, it feels like a smaller keyboard, more compact. But I'm saying after a few days, uh, this thing really works great and it's very satisfying. I really liked it uh, for the price of forty dollars. I think it's a pretty great keyboard. So yes, the keys are loud. So if you don't like the sort of loud typewriting experience, then you're gonna want to stay away from this keyboard. But like I said, the trade-off is it's very satisfying uh, when you're typing on it. So. Uh, good things to say about this keyboard. I really liked it. Uh, the design is really great. I would have liked for it to have some sort of LED backlit, but uh, it keeps a nice, sophisticated design, I guess. So overall, great keyboard, great design. Uh, it doesn't have a keypad, so that might bum you out. Uh, but if you can get over that, I think the price is solid and you get a really unique typing experience. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.